Hello, welcome back to my bookbinding studio. I missed doing studio vlogs, so I'm going to return back to this format and maybe use the studio vlog format to document the 100 day project progress as well. In other words, I miss talking to you all. This week I'm taking a break from the 100 day project so that I can focus on my shop. I've been teasing to a few people that I was going to open mid-February, late February, but um, because of the 100 day project, I didn't expect it to be so consuming. Um, so now I really need to hunker down and finish binding my sketchbooks and journals so I can start listing them. Another reason why I'm taking a break is so that I can recover from creating something new every day for the last two weeks and um, kind of reflect and recollect myself. I've pretty much made everything I wanted to so far and I want to spend some time um, coming up with some new ideas. So those are some of my goals for this week is to finish binding um, all the stuff I want to sell in my shop and prepare for the 100 day project to restart next week. I was quite resistant to the idea of taking a break because this is a challenge. When I started in my first week, I was quite nervous because I was happy to be creating, but I was really nervous to share. I tried one way for two weeks and at the end of it, I did feel quite depleted. So I'm going to allow myself to take a break and um, pivot to doing something else, but still sticking to the challenge and um, continuing to find the spark and the joy that comes with creating something new every day because I have felt elated um, most, most days when I finish what I create and I'm really proud of it. Um, but the process leading up to it and then having to create a reel and a video um, after the fact was a lot of work. So I'm gonna try to keep it more casual and I'll probably stick to a schedule of two weeks on, one week off, so that I can spend that week resting and reflecting.
As you're watching me sew some journals, I wanted to share a personal update. Even though moving cities was really hard, I've had so many moments here where I felt like it was the right thing to do. I've had the time and opportunity to find more emotional and mental stability, which has become a good foundation to do things that make me feel good on a daily basis. Even when old habits and old mental loops find me, I feel confident that I will be able to change them. So I'm really glad to say that I'm feeling good and that's why I've been excited to be bookbinding and I feel like I can practice my creativity without much self-doubt or worries. And right now that's the best feeling. That's all I really wanted to say.
It's Friday and I finished binding all my books for my next shop update. It's going to take a little longer because I have to take photos of them and list them. And I'm waiting for a shipment of journal bands from my aunt who sews them in Vancouver. Um, so stay tuned on my newsletter and Instagram where I'll be announcing when my shop will open. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really do enjoy hearing how my videos are accompanying you as you work on your own projects or my videos are calming and are entertaining for you. I hope I can continue doing that. I'm about to film my first sponsored video which is very exciting and that's going to come out soon. Thank you for being here and take care.